So this is going to be a test for an aldehyde. Here I have some failings A and some failings B solutions and I'm just going to mix uh, equal amounts of those to produce our failings test reagent. Obviously you should do it much more accurately than just using little pastel pets. And you can see that after I mix it, this is going to be a lovely, lovely dark blue solution. So here I have um, some sodium carbonate and I'm just going to take five drops, one, two, three, four, five drops of my failing test solution in there and I'm going to add the aldehyde and heat it. I'm just adding in my aldehyde sample and then I'm going to heat it. So here is my sample that I'm heating here. Already we can start to see a colour change at the top. And now we can start to see the red colour coming through. So this is the results of our test with failing solution. You can see that it's got a horrible brown, dull, murky precipitate. Not very nice at all. This is the test for um, aldehyde using failing solution. So we, here we have here our um, geric aldehyde, it doesn't really matter um, what it is and in the important part in the failing solution that we are looking for, these are the copper ions and in this state they are blue. After the reaction has taken place, um, the copper ions are going to have reacted and are now going to be red. The well a bit is more of a brownie mud colour. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. Donate so I can buy stuff to make more videos. Share this with your friends so that they can help improve their grade as well. Any comments, questions, requests, or corrections down in the comments below, please.